Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Activities for People Living at Home with Dementia. We are proud to offer this series with funding from the Area Agency on Aging and the United Way of Tarrant County. These programs are recorded and are made available for viewing through a YouTube channel for future use. I am your host for today's activities. Our topic today is a Jeopardy game, and we are using the topic of explorers. And this is not an April Fool joke. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out once we play the game, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, once we play the game, exactly. Now, let's see if I can find the game. Get it up there for a minute. I did. Uh, here it is. Make it big. Can y'all see that? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's Explorers. Um, Steve and Dusty, would you please be team one? Sure. And Don and Myra and Nancy, would you please be team two? Sure. Okay. And for the minute, I will be team three and wh whoever comes along can be a team with me. How's that? Okay. Does that work? It works for me. Perfect. All right. Team one, Steve and Dusty, what it, oh, we're doing space, by ship, overland, America, and potluck. Potluck. Oh. What do you think, Dusty? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> it being said, I think maybe we ought to start with potluck. Okay, that sounds good. I'm going to try 300 and just see what we do. There so you go. Like, okay. Let's okay. try 300. Potluck for 300. <clears throat> he wrote the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, Francis, Francis Scott, Scott Key. Key. Yeah. Yes. Yay. Yay. It didn't hurt, did it? <laughs> no. It did for a second. I couldn't pull it out. Well, that's, that's why we're here is to get our neurons pumping. Okay. Team two is Don, Myra, and Nancy. What, what category was like, Nancy? I'll let you choose. Okay. Uh, let's go th 300 for space. Space for 300. The Russian man was first in space. Any part of his name will be fine. Um, in the 50s. Do you know, Nancy? I do not. I do. His I do first, not. His first name was Yuri. Gregretchen or something like that? You got it. Gagarin. Gagarin, yes. Yuri Gagarin. Woohoo! Team two got points. Okay. Uh, team three, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go overland for 500 because I don't. Well, man, don't, you already know, don't you already know the answers to these? Yes, I do, but I've got to keep us in the game in case somebody else comes along. Okay. So I'm this not going to. Every, everybody gets to help, right? Everybody gets to help. I won't answer these. Everybody will help. First president of the Republic of Texas. Sam Houston. Sam Houston. Sam Houston. Look at that. Sam Houston for team three. Thank you all for doing that. <clears throat> okay. Team one, Stephen Dusty. What do you think, Dusty? Uh, that was easy. You want to do Overland for 400? Sure. Overland for 400. The man was known as the father of Texas. Stephen F. Austin. F. Austin, yep. Stephen F. Austin, team one, get some points. Okie dokie. Are we doing okay or is this too simple? No, this is good. It's no, good. It's good. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Okay. You have a choice, Nancy? Team two. Let's, let's just go all the way. Let's go 500 by ship. By ship or 500. Ship. Excellent. 500. I love it, Nancy. He settled Greenland 500 years before Columbus. Oh, His Eric. Uh, do you know Nancy? I do. Um, Leif Erickson. Absolutely. That's it. I said yeah. Eric. Yeah, Excellent, Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Woohoo! Yeah, that's right. 
Okay, the group for team three, I'm going to go America for 100. Man helped to abolish slavery. Everybody? Lincoln, I guess. Lincoln, a Abraham lot of Lincoln. people. Who was Abraham Lincoln? That's right. There were a lot of people in that category, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but he was at the top. He yeah. was at the top. You're, you're right, Steve. There's lots of them. Okay, team one, Stephen Dusty. And women. And women. And women, that's, that's right. right. Absolutely. Th Thank you. What do you think, Dusty? Oh, I was asleep there. That's right. Uh, <laughs> well, let's see. What's the score? We're, we're, we're behind. We're, be, we're behind, yeah, a little bit, yeah. We want to do America for 500? Sure. Let's see what we get there. Okay, America for 500. He discovered New Mexico, Arizona, and the Grand Canyon. Oh. Uh, he was from. He was not from. He was a. He was a foreigner. He was a Spaniard. He's Spanish. Yes, he was yeah. a Spaniard. Uh, uh, Cortez. Yes. Yes. Cortez. Oh. 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 You want to get fifty percent for that? <laughs> oh, that's not. That's not close. <laughs> that's not even close. So don't don't worry about it. Don't worry don't, about it. Don't do that, huh? We oh, got the okay. CO on it, right? You got the yeah. COR. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> You're too cute. Team two, Don, Myra, and Nancy. What do you think, Nancy? You, you, you're what? You got a winner. Oh, by ship, 400. By hey, ship, by 400. ship, 400. An Italian uh, sailed to find the new world. Uh, Chris, I, I think I know the answer, Nancy. Do you, do you have an answer? Well, uh, Christopher Columbus was... Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. Yes. That's it. That's, that's right. Right. Exactly right. He sold so Yeah. I love Portugal. it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, team three, a uh, potluck for 200. Which was the 50th state admitted to the Union? Alaska. Alaska. No. Hawaii. 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 Y'all want to toss a coin? No, it's, it's one Hawaii. of those two. Hawaii. It was it was Hawaii. 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 Team three. Alaska was forty nine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The and the only reason I ever remember that is because of the 49ers. <laughs> <coughs> Never mind. <clears throat> okay, Dusty, we gotta catch up. So it's either gonna be space or potluck. What one do you want? Even Dusty. Uh I'm, I'm not real good on the space part. Okay, oh, so let's do be. pot. We'll do potluck for five hundred then. There you go. Team one, potluck, 500. This river is the lifeline of Egypt. What is the Nile? Right. What is the Nile? Team That's one. Good. Get those points. I got close. Yeah, right. you did. <laughs> you're, you're in tie. Team two, Don, Myra, and so, Nancy. Nancy, I'd like to go ahead and go for space for 500. Okay. All righty. Teacher not died on the shuttle Challenger. Who was she? Sally Ride. Sally Ride was first in space. Oh, okay. okay. Teacher. Okay. Oh, I don't. Her name was Krista. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, is this team three? It's team yeah. two. It's team, team two. two. Team oh, okay. Two. I don't anybody, do you know Nancy? I do not. I do not either. McCullough. 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 Yeah. Oh. oh well. Do we get points for that? No. no. <laughs> we okay. want Nancy, we don't need to let Don choose again. <laughs> <laughs> Team three. America for two hundred. He was a wise leader of the Lakota Nation. Sitting bull. Sitting bull. Yeah. Yeah. Bull. Sitting bull. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I wasn't at all sure, so I, I, I uh, yes, escape. Team one, Stephen Dusty. What do you think, Dusty? Want to do potluck for 400? Yeah. Okay, potluck for 400. Potluck for 400. A Spanish name given to explorers. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Well, I can't get yeah, it ahead. out. Go ahead, you're doing fine. There, you, there you go. go. Yep. Absolutely yep. right. Team one pulls ahead by a nose. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Team two, Nancy, Myra, and Don. Yeah, you two, Myra, you and Nancy decide. I was, I was. Well, Nancy will know ships. You want to do yeah, ships? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we could do sh by ship 300. Perfect. Okay. By ship. Sailor and crew were the first to sail around the globe. Um, and I would say the answer is Magellan. The that's answer it. is Magellan. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And that's yeah. Good morning, Gail. Good morning, Gail. Morning. Hey, Gail. hey, good morning, Gail. Gail and the group is going to be team three. You didn't know you were playing, did you? <laughs> oh, I wasn't planning to play. I just came to see everybody for a few minutes. All right. Well, okay. All right. Well. All right. Let's see. We just got Magellan. Was that team two? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. Gail, what we've been doing since nobody was here for team three, I've been picking the uh, topic and then it's been a group answer in case somebody comes along to be team three. Okay. So you can Very help creative. out. With, I, you got to get creative on a day like this. <laughs> Let's try Overland for 200. He discovered Pike's Peak. Just was talking about for a minute. Oh. Uh -uh. His first name starts with a Z. Zebulon Pike. Yes. Go yes. team. Very good, Steve. Yes, you pulled him out, didn't you? Okie dokie, team one, Steve and Dusty. Okay, Dusty, we got to keep going. So how about 400, America for 400? Yep, that's my, my thinking. Okie dokie, America for 400. He searched for the Fountain of Youth. Oops, he found Florida. Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon. <laughs> Boy, you yep. guys know your history. That's wonderful. Ponce de Leon. Team two, Nancy, Myra, and Don. And we'll take America for three. We will, <laughs> won't we, Nancy? Yes. Hey, Gail, she's building a house, by the way. Oh, wow. We'll have to hear about that. Okie dokie, team two. The religious groups found in Pennsylvania. Yes. And who the, was that? The Quakers. Found it. Quakers. Quakers. Found it. Quakers. Yeah, the Quakers, yeah. Absolutely, it was Quakers. Okie dokie. Team three. Gail, you want to choose? Yeah. Um, let's do Overland for, for 300. For 300. <clears throat> okay, everybody, this is a group. Rally cry at San Jacinto during the war. Remember, Remember the Alamo. Remember Alamo. the Alamo. Remember the Alamo, team three. I love it. You guys are on, to, on time today. Team one, Dusty and Steve. Okay, Dusty. Uh, where are we? We're ahead. Yeah, we're ahead, but we're not far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are you good? At, do you remember all the space stuff, uh, history? No, but we can try. I don't mind trying. Okay. If we, if we don't get it 400, then nobody else can get the 400 either. So there you go. <laughs> okay, right. so we'll get space of 400. <laughs> that's that's good strategy. That's a win win yeah. strategy. Yeah. Space for 400. Space for 400. I love it. The first American woman in space was in 1983. Sally Ride. Yeah. Sally Ride. Yep. I'm proud of you. you I actually would have knew that one. <laughs> you I, actually, that. you mentioned you mentioned it earlier, Martha. Yeah, you did, did, Martha. You, I did. You gave us the answer earlier. I did, didn't I? Yeah. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nancy, two. give us a pick. What's that? Nancy, give us a pick. Oh, Nancy. By ship two hundred. By ship two hundred. By ship for two hundred. Religious group left England for America. I think it starts with a P, Nancy. Yeah, I don't know. Something that starts with pilgrims. Let's go with pilgrims. Who oh. were the pilgrims? Oh. Actually, actually, they were not the only one. The Huguenots also did the same thing. Well, you are, so, you are so everybody correct. remembers the Huguenots, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> April yeah. Fool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not April Fools. Anyway. No, no right. you're right. I think that was a trick question. It was. Well, there's several, there's several in here that were a trick because it. it depends on the frame of reference. Yeah, yes. if they hadn't have called it a religious group, I think we might have gotten it easier. Yeah. Yes. 
Yes. I, I wrote that one poorly. You are absolutely correct. Oops, hold on. Woodstock, get down. <laughs> he's he's, he's just trying to pick the category. He probably is. Okay, team three. No. No. Yeah. Who, yes. no. Who got no. that one? That was uh, Nancy and Don and Myron. Don, okay. Yeah. Yes, Don that was us. That's Pilgrim. Okay. okay. Or, yeah, Pilgrim yeah. So for two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, so now the, it's your turn, Martha. The, the bird blows me away. And I have a story about that too. Let's try space for 100. Ill-fated space journey did not land on the moon. There have been Apollo 13. Apollo 13. Yep. Yep. Good yep. job, Dusty. Go team yep. three. Thank you. Thank you. So okay. far, I've known the space questions. <laughs> you have, haven't you? Doesn't that surprise you? It surprised yeah. me. Yeah, me when, too. When writing them that I knew some of them. Okay, space, uh, by ship, overland, or potluck, team one. What do you think? What do you think, Gusty? Potluck? Let's do potluck because oh. we don't want to blow them out of the water. Oh, oh thank, you. thank you. Thanks, Thanks for the table. Table. So yeah. we team one. Do potluck. What was the war between England and America? Revolutionary, Revolutionary war. war. Yeah. That's it. The American Revolution. Team one pulls ahead. Team two, Nancy, Myra, and Don. Uh, potluck 200. Stop that. Um, you mean space? No, I th they don't have one for potluck. No, no. no. It, they just took it. Okay, yeah, space then. Space for yeah. 200, team two. American man first orbited the earth three uh, times. I know that one too. I know that. <laughs> I know that one. Yeah. Think hard. Yep. Hey, wait. You didn't he even became, want to say it. He became a congressman, too. Yeah. Yes, he did. And hey. went back into space and when he was yep. in yep. his 70s, was it? Yeah, some. He was, he was quite old when he went back. Yeah. No kidding. I'm not, we're not helping Nancy at all. I'm sorry. We're just kind of. <laughs> <coughs> I was fit, fast on the trigger finger. I apologize. No, oh, I'm sorry. I know who it is. Yeah. Team three. It was John uh, Glenn. I'm going to do team three by ship 100. This ship carried the first Europeans to the New World. Santa Maria. They arrived by the... Santa Maria or Pinta, whatever. The first Europeans. I think I wrote this one poorly. Because it was... Well, the it's Mayflower. The first Europeans were actually were, was Columbus. Yes, That's you're right. absolutely right. I think I think you need to give team three the points for that. Thank All you, right. team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, team. I don't want team three to look so bad. Dusty, okay. you want to, let's just jump over this one, jump. Let somebody else do it. Okay. Oh, team one, overland, Steve and Dusty. I'm just saying, let's, Dusty is all right. We just jump over and let team two do this one. Sure. Okay. Sure, we'll do it. How about it, Nancy? Okay. Okay. Jefferson helped to double the size of America with this by Louisiana Purchase. Oh, hey. oh. she was a chance, okay? <laughs> Louisiana Purchase. Uh, uh, Louisiana Purchase. It was, Louisiana. <laughs> it was the Louisiana Purchase. Yeah, Purchase. Yeah. Team two. Uh, Yay. Yay. I'm so proud of you all. Look at that. Team one, Stephen Dusty had 2,500 <laughs> points. Team two, Myra, Don, and Nancy had 23 points. And the pool of people, team three, had 1,700 points. I'm going to have to leave here. So, Dusty, you're on your own. Oh, okay. Okay. You do a good You can do Sorry a good job. That. You are, that's right. I've just got another call. Bye, there, Steve. We've still got another. Guys. Is music again tomorrow? Is it music? Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Oh, Look hard. forward to it. The harp. harp. Oh, wonderful. Yes. That's great. Thank you. Yes. All right. See you yes. tomorrow, Steve. Uh, Bye, Bye, Steve. Okay. So Steve's mm -hmm. dropping out. Gail, would you like to join Dusty in team one? Can you stay for a, a, a game? Sure. sure. 
Okay, and we'll still have team three as a group team. What's that, Nancy? Did you say? I'm sorry, yes. I was just telling mom that she won't be here tomorrow. I won't be here tomorrow. She's telling oh. me I didn't. Okay. Know that. okay. Oh. Well, do you want to so, play another game? So. Do you want to play another game, Nancy? We've got another game, Nancy. If you want to play, it's, uh, it's up to everybody. Yes, let's play. Yeah. Okay, we have Explorers number two. Let me see if I can get this so we can all get a view of it. And you all are so kind to be helpful to me. Okay, three teams, DFFW Explorers number two. Team one, Gail and Dusty. <laughs> what was the title? The titles are What? Who? Oh. Aha. Why and surprise. Uh, I thought you uh, said something else. Explorers is what it's about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Explorers. So it's Dusty and Gail. Are you on team? Uh, uh, Nancy, you're on team two with Don and Myra. Yeah, Nancy, you're with us. So there's only two teams? Oh, there's a group team three. Yeah. Group team three is everybody. Yeah. Dusty, you pick. Dusty and Gail first. Well, let's we'd say we take surprise for five hundred and see what happens. Anyway, he's gonna, I love it. He's gonna blow it out of the water. Surprise for five hundred team one. Native Americans called their land this. Now I did not know this, and this is a really strange <clears throat> answer but it is an animal and they called it blank island. Anybody want to give, give a guess? Bear Island, I think, I'm not sure. Bear Island? i give you one more. Uh, this is a category, I mean, that, Native Americans is my category, but I do not know this one. This was a shock to me and that's why it's 500. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. Uh, we got another, uh, yeah, turtle. That's, I bet that's it. Turtle. Turtle. Yeah. Yes. Give it to him. One. I it's remember different. that now. Turtle yeah. Island. I don't want to know where it's from. <clears throat> I guess they thought they were on the back of a big turtle. Yep. Isn't that uh, something? Uh, and m many tribes saw, had the same thing. Did they? A lot, a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, things that the majority of the tribes all did the same. It's amazing. I'm going to learn a lot from you. That's wonderful. Yes. Team two. Okay, Don Nancy, Ryan. what do you want? So they didn't get any points for that. Martha. I'm sorry? They didn't get any points for that one. Um, yes, they did. Oh, yeah, he said yeah. Turtle Island. Yeah. But that, uh, uh, but it, he's not on my team. So you're, but no, no, that's fine. Right. That's fine. That's, she's that's right. I, I, didn't uh, even, I, I spoke out when I shouldn't have. I didn't look at the score. I didn't realize it was down there. Do you want me to take them away? Yeah, that, that wasn't good at all. Well, okay. It's your team. It's your funeral. <laughs> okay, Nancy. All right, Nancy, what do you Nancy, want? Nancy, Myra, and Don. What? I don't know. Let's say what for 500. Might as well the way. Let's go. What? what for 500? Name two skills, there are many, that Native Americans taught to the early settlers. Um, how to grow corn or maize. And. You have one, Nancy? Uh, soiling the ground, cultivating. Okay. Planting, the ground. Planting hunting, Planting, fishing, and building. You got it. Yep. Got Me it. Me too. I was going to say how to survive, but that yeah. pretty well covers it right there. Yeah, that covers it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to pick for team three. I'm going to say why for 200. Cattle drive from Texas <laughs> to Kansas stockyards. Why? Chisholm. 
Chisholm Trail, team three. Thank you, team three. Okay, team one, Dusty and Gail. Uh, we didn't do so good on surprise. <laughs> You want to try well, these for 400? Sure. Surprise? Who for 400? Surprise? No, who? Uh, who? Okay. Who for 400? I'm sorry I was talking over you. Sailor <laughs> discovered Nova Scotia. Was it Lodge or Cabot? Oh, uh, Nova Scotia. The answer is either Lodge or Cabot. This yeah. is so tough. I had to give you the answer because I didn't know. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, Gail, do you, you have any idea on that? Not really. I'll just be guessing out of thin air. Something tells me Lodge, but I don't know if that's right or not. So we'll just go with Lodge. Let's go with Lodge. It was John Cabot. Abbott. <sighs> that one I did not know. Well, that's okay. Evidently. That's, evidently. <laughs> this, is why we're pump, this is why we're pumping our neurons. Team two. All right. John, Nancy, and Myra. Let's let's try 500 for who. Yes, that's a good Team idea. Two, who for 500. This many of the 102 settlers of the Mayflower lived to see the first harvest. Was it 25%, 50%, or 75%? Hmm. I know that they lost a lot of people during the winter. Yeah. Um, that is correct. Um, Nancy, what do you think? 25%. Uh, that's what that's, I'm thinking. That's, that's what, what I'm thinking we too. Thought. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh 50%. 50%. Doggone it. Wow. Well, we lost together. That's okay. We we are all together. Yeah. Okay. Team three, I'm picking AHA for 200. AHA. First to climb Mount Everest, was it Pershing or Hillary? Oh, this is the one we're all doing together? Yes. yes. I think it was Hillary. It was Hillary. Yeah. Edmund Hillary. And yeah. and his faithful sidekick, Tenzing yeah. Norgay. Yep. Which I just put in as an aside. He couldn't That's have gotten good. up there without his Sherpa. No, he would not have. No, he wouldn't. Team three, get some points there. Okay. Dusty and Gail, team one. You pick this time, Dusty. Okay. I should be good on the who category, but I wasn't this time. But let's try 300 on who. Who for 300? He explored the Oregon Trail. Was it Mix or Carson? Carson. It was yeah. Kit Carson. Carson. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Team two, Nancy, Myra, and Don. Um, what do you think about we go for? Want, Don, I, feel, uh, I gotta run to the door. Okay, I want you to choose. Oh, okay. Um, how about we go with what for 400? What for 400? The first colony settlement was this in Virginia. Was it, we're, we're thinking, man, Nancy, we think Williamsburg, but what do you think? You think what? Williamsburg. Some some town. It, that's a good guess because I, I don't know. Okay. What was James Jackson's town? town? Named after the captain that's, that got up there. You, you're absolutely right. I'm so glad you know your history. <laughs> well, I didn't know it that well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, team three, I'm going to pick surprise for 200. Lewis and Clark took this guide along to the <laughs> west coast. Now, why can I always answer yours? Sacagawea. 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 Well, you know, we're all in this team three yeah. together. So we're all but, winning. 
I couldn't have spelled it, so there, there you go. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> okay, team one, Dusty and Ga Dusty's at the door. Did Dusty come back? Yeah, he's I'm back. back. Okay, Dusty and Gail, team one. What do you think? Uh, where are we? We're on the bottom. Uh, no, and you not for long. What do you say we do a ha for 500? Sounds good to me. Okay. Aha for 500. Found the wreckage of the Titanic. Was it Ballard or Smithson? Hmm. That'd be a total guess, too. You have any idea? No, I don't. Yeah. Well, you Ballard, I, Ballard, I guess. Let's try Ballard. Okay. Yep. Who was yes. Robert Ballard? Good guess. Uh, good guess. <laughs> good guess. Team two, Nancy, Myra, and Don. Aha uh -huh, for 400. Yes. Aha uh -huh, for 400. Discovered the South Pole. Was it Amundsen or Powers? Amundsen. Amundsen is right. Yes. I think Amundsen, Amundsen. Right. Yes. yes. Team two. You guys are hot to try. Woohoo! Okay, team three, I'm going to pick who for 200. <clears throat> First man to step on the moon. This is the group answer. Uh, I, a, I think the second one was Aldrin. Uh, yeah. We uh, all sat home to watch it on TV. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I remember. I think I know what and this is. I, I know it and I can't pull it out. Uh, His first name starts with a J. <laughs> well, don't pull it out of your leg. Pull it out of your arm. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, don't, uh, that don't tell me anything. John? You say it starts with a J? His first name. No. I don't think so. I mean, I think the first month. Oh, still still oh, you're right. You got it. <laughs> I had to pull that one out of you, didn't I? April Fools. <laughs> yeah, Martha uh, got it wrong and she wrote it. I apologize. Team one. I knew oh, that. Y'all are keeping me honest. Dusty and Gail. Well, A 300 one gets caught up, so. There's plenty of those. Give, give me a why, I guess. Why for 300? Where did the Mormon or LDS settlers make their home? Utah. Uh, yes. Salt Lake City, yeah. Utah. I, I had that coming, I just couldn't get it out. That's okay, Utah's good enough for me. Good enough for me. Team two, Nancy, Myra, and Don. Um, Nancy, how about we go for Y for 400? What do you think? That'll help you catch up to team one. Nancy, is that okay? Why for what? Is her screen frozen? I think her screen's frozen. She's having some trouble. Say again, Nancy. Oh, you're back. Should I choose, should I choose a, a number? Yeah, yes. a topic. Oh, well, let's do Y for 500. Oh, okay. I love it. I love no, it. Nancy, Y for 500. First Thanksgiving, 1621, they landed in 1620. Explain the delay. Um because the first year they were busy getting settled in so that they had nothing they had no yeah they exactly were, they no, yeah they had nothing <laughs> they had nothing yeah to be thankful for <laughs> exactly why did it take a year to harvest the crops and build the houses there we go so team two pulls ahead team three is a group think let's go with what for 100 pulls already mm -hmm. A document needed to enter a port by land or sea. Even today. Passport. 
passport. Thank you, team. There you go. Okay. Team one, Gail and Dusty. Oh, I'm getting discouraged here. Uh, <laughs> you can do it. Yes. You've got lots of chances to catch up. You're ahead. Yeah, let's do why for 400. Why for 400? Shipping route dug to shorten trips from the west to the east coasts. Oh, Panama Canal, finally. Panama Canal. That's there you exactly go. There right. you go. Good job. Team two. Okay, Nancy. Nancy. Uh, Nancy picked a good one last time. Yes, you did. The, the very last one is 400 and 500 gone there. Yeah. 500 is gone, yes. 400? You want surprise yes, for, for surprise. Okie dokie. In Boston, he yelled, the British are coming and saved the town. Yeah. He was a silversmith. He was a silversmith, yes. And what was his name? Puddentain. Puddentain, <laughs> no. <laughs> Nancy, you got an idea? Silversmith should tell you. John, John Silversmith. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's Paul Revere. Paul Revere. Yes, it was Paul Revere. Team two. Yes. Oh, my God. I love it. Team three. Uh, surprise. For, I'm sorry, Nancy. No, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Surprise for 100. How many states exist today? Group? This, is, this is a team. Oh, yeah. 50. Group? 50. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't want to be an easy surprise. I didn't want to be dragging back there. <laughs> <laughs> Gail and Dusty team one. Is Gail still there? I hadn't heard from her. Yeah, I'm here. All right. You want to probably something? busy writing another uh, <laughs> grant. <laughs> you want to do one of the 300s? Yeah. Let's do aha for 300. Aha for 300. Discovered the North Pole. Was it Trainer or Peary? That was Peary. Yes. That was Peary. Or Peary. Fun. Peary. Yeah, I just took her, her lead. <laughs> yeah. Did I spell it wrong? No. No, you just no. pronounced it wrong. Just pronounced oh, it pronounced wrong. it wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay, Don, you can choose anything. Okay, um, let's do, let's, what do you think? Surprise for 300, yes. guys? Okay. All right, team two, surprise for 300. Name any four colonies. Okay, let's go with Maryland. Um, Nancy? Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. Um, so New York. Uh, Provident, Rhode Island. Okay, y'all got it. Yep. Very and good, you, Nancy. You see the list there. Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Mass Bay Colony. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Georgia, Connecticut, Maryland, South Carolina, and New Hampshire. I was surprised by some of these. I guess I don't know my history so well. Okay. Did I give you your points? Nope, not yet. No. Nope. Okay, thank you. Team three, okay, aha for 100. <coughs> the first explorers from St. Louis to the West Coast. This is Lewis a group and Clark. Lewis and Clark. Absolutely, yep. Lewis and Clark. Team yep. three, let's rock on. And Sacagawea. <laughs> and Sacagawea. Yep. And yes. Sacagawea, yes, yes. Team one, Gail and Dusty. You wanna take uh, that last I 300? Eight, we're 18. Yeah, we need the 300s. You need what for 300? Yep. Okay. Who did Sacagawea bring along to the West Coast? <laughs> oh, uh, come on. <laughs> and the answer her is not Lewis her, and Clark. Her, it's not Lewis and Clark? Her husband, her husband and baby. It was her baby. Absolutely yes. right. Absolutely right. She took her baby. Can you imagine doing that? 
No, she didn't, she didn't. I think she had the baby on the way, didn't she? Uh, now that I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to do that for next time. Somebody yeah. look that up. How about we do what for 200, guys? What for 200? Okay. Theme two. Number of stars on Betsy Ross's flag. Oh. Um. um. 13? Yep. 13. A baker's dozen. That's right. That's exactly right, team two. Wow. Okay. You saved us. Team <laughs> three, I'm going to go for who for 100. This is a group answer. First baby born of colonial settlers. It was a girl, and her name was? A good question. <laughs> <laughs> Little Orphan Annie. <laughs> Back of your whiz, baby. <laughs> they named her uh, after one of the colonies. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever even heard of that. Before. Nancy, do you know? Never heard of anything like that. I I haven't either, Nancy. So are we all given? We're, we're, yeah, we don't know. We're all given. We'll Virginia see. Dare. Virginia we'll Dare. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've never heard of that. Did you make that one up? No. No, no that's right. I have I never heard of that in my life. Oh, my goodness. Well, you'll have to check, check me out on it because I wrote these. You know, I could have been wrong. Okay. Oh, I doubt that. Team one, you get the last one. Do you want why for 100? Uh, <laughs> if we have to. <laughs> the Quaker, this Quaker accepted 45,000 miles of land for religious freedom. William Penn. William That's Penn. That's good. That's good. That is awesome. Thank We're you. Still Still didn't make it. I want you to look at this. Team one, 2200. Team two, 2300. And team three, 1100. That was a good game. Yeah. That's a good yeah. game. Good yeah. questions. So I Thank looked you. up the information about Turtle Island. Please tell us. It says <clears throat> for some indigenous peoples, Turtle Island refers to the continent of North America. The name comes from various indigenous oral histories that tell stories of a turtle that holds the world on its back. Artistic interpretation of an island growing atop a turtle's back. See if I can get this to finish opening. Um, it also has the turtle is considered an icon of life and the story of Turtle Island consequently speaks to various spiritual and cultural beliefs. Thank hmm. you, Gail. Thank you, Gail. And I was trying to see. Wasn't there another one we were wondering about? Virginia turtle Island. Did you guys find out about Turtle Island? Yeah. Yes. He, 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 yeah, I thought it was interesting that the Indians felt like the turtles represented the um, nature and, and things like yeah. that. I thought that was really interesting. Mm hmm. Yes. And it was a shocker to me, too. <laughs> it says, in some, and I'm going to say this wrong, uh, Awobi, I O J I B W E, Ojibwa, Ojibwa yes. oral traditions. The story of Turtle Island begins with a flooded earth. The creator had cleansed the world of feuding peoples in order to begin life anew. Some animals survived the flood, su such as the loon, the muskrat, and the turtle. Nanabozo, and I've, there's a couple other names there, a, spirit, a supernatural being who has the power to create life in others was also present. He asked the animals to swim deep beneath the water and collect soil that would be used to recreate the world. One by one, the animals tried, but one by one, they failed. The last animal that tried, the muskrat, 
was underwater for a long time and when it resurfaced, the little animal had wet soil in its paws. The journey took the muskrat's life, but the creature did not die in vain. Nana Bush took the soil and put it on the willing turtle's back. This became known as Turtle Island, the center of creation. Oh my gosh, I did not know that. Wow. See, those are those are those are the fables of uh, of America. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing that uh, it, that one was just, that world was destroyed by a flood too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But th there's there's lots of parallels to that yes. in the story of creation in the Bible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you look hard enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you for looking there. Oh, there's a there's a whole lot more. Um, uh, this article is on the Canadian Encyclopedia. Okay. Website, if you want to read more about that. Canadian. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Thank you. First people. I'd say we, uh, wake, we waked up our brains today, didn't we? I, I guess so. so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Pretty so good, glad Martha. I'm glad y'all came and joined in today. I had fun with this, and even though I got a couple of things wrong, y'all straightened me out. <laughs> <laughs> Made me realize I didn't know as much as I thought I did. Yeah, but me too. you knew more than you thought you did, too. I, I thought I knew more about space than I really did. Wow. Isn't that something? Well, y'all want to know about tomorrow? Yes. Okie dokie. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye, Nancy. Nancy. Okay, Bye. Nancy. We'll see you. Bye, Nancy. Okay. It's so precious. Tomorrow we have heavenly harp with the Texas winds. Seems like I have seen the harp people before. We have yeah. had them a couple times, but I think this might be a different one. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. might might be. There, yeah. there was a harp and a piano at Christmas time. That's right. And she showed us the pedals on the harp, didn't yes. she? Yeah, I, yep. I was. That was. I was blown away by that one. I yeah. actually think the harp has been with us twice. Yes. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think so. But I don't know if this is the same one. Okay. okay. Well, we'll find out tomorrow. Now, my, my standard question, do y'all have anything you need to talk about or anything you want to share today? Well, you won't see me tomorrow. Okay. I will be at the zoo with my grandsons okay we're going to the zoo tomorrow morning good yeah. for you take good yeah. pictures yeah the zoo was on the news one of the zoos i don't know which one it is saying they were uh having different prices anywhere from 21 dollars to eight dollars depending on the yeah. demand for whether it was a hmm. day well, with the Fort Worth Zoo, you have to make a reservation. Yeah. And you can't make your reservation until three days before. Oh. And does they Dallas do, have a zoo? Dallas yeah. does have a zoo. And there's a senior citizen discount. So the ticket drops from $13 to $9. Oh, excellent. Wow. So. I wish I'd have paid more attention and found the name of it. But. Uh, I, I thought that was Dallas Zoo. Let me see. Let's see what I can find on the Dallas Zoo. Well, was it uh, the Fort Worth Zoo that just lost a zebra? The yeah, Dallas think... Zoo begins flex pricing for admissions. Oh, so when there's when there's fewer people there, they get in cheaper yeah and yeah. as more people come the price goes up okay so it's more for the peak times and less for times when attendance is low the idea is to encourage more people to come when it's less crowded how smart and yeah. the first tuesday of every month will be tiger tuesdays it's the slowest day of the week and the tickets will be marked down to eight dollars okay mm -hmm. tiger tuesday Ooh. I'm still not going to drive to Dallas for, for Tiger Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 
I'll drive to Fort Worth for full price, but I'm not going to drive to Dallas for Tiger Tuesday. For anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> trash, yes. You okay, Dusty? Yeah, I was answering a question, so. Okay. Good deal. I help. Well, you guys, you always hush. You <laughs> hush. Uh, Gail, you didn't hear me tell my little story. I, uh, Woodstock hung himself last night. Oh, my. He nearly croaked. What happened? He, uh, my computer is in a bookcase, and the bookcase is in front of a, a window. Right. He has Venetian blinds, and he's always been up on the, the bookcase playing, and he was been playing with the Venetian blind cords. He got one wrapped around his neck and fell behind the bookcase. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I heard squawk. And you've never seen a woman move so fast in your life. <laughs> I got him. And he was scared and he was fighting me. And I got two blood bites. But I got him before he stopped breathing. Yeah, that's good. Aye, aye, aye. And he, he and I clung to each other all of last night. He oh. wouldn't leave me. We were both traumatized by that. I can only imagine. That's right. So I have covered all of my window blinds with bubble wrap today. Okay, good. Mm. Before I went to bed last night, I, I had a big roll and I made covers for the windows. Well, you might, you might could try um, gathering the blind cord up mm -hmm. like this mm -hmm. and then wrapping it. So that it's not long and tie it up high. So, yes. it's not so that it's not long enough for him to get enough of it to get caught. He could put it, I could put it in a baggie and take the baggie down. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I hope I hope we don't get realize how much fun it is to pop the bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe you do. Maybe he'll like to pop the bubbles. This afternoon you're gonna hear pop, pop, pop. <laughs> He's okay, so He's a smart bird. So you could do it like this. Yeah. And then yeah. put it in a baggie. Yes. Yeah. So you. I have a story that's very similar, only it's about my child. <gasps> oh, no. uh oh. Oh, my. It's funny now, but at the time it wasn't funny. Mm -hmm. So we lived <clears throat> in an old house that had those windows that had the glass panels that rolled out like yeah. a shade oh yeah and it was all across two walls of this big room that was my son's bedroom when he was about four mm. and he had a toy box that stood up almost two feet tall and there were drapes on those windows that had cords and one night at at dinner, he would not eat and he was acting like he didn't feel good. And I kept asking him what was wrong and he wouldn't say anything. And so finally I helped him get ready for bed and I put him in bed because I just thought he didn't feel good. The next morning I went to get him up to get him ready to go to daycare and he had a red oh, burn oh. around his neck. Oh. And we could not get him to tell us what had happened. <laughs> and so then we went to ask my daughter, who's 19 months younger than him. And finally, after coaxing her and telling her she wasn't going to get in trouble, mm -hmm. she told us that he was trying to fly. Ooh. And he had wrapped the cord around his neck and jumped off of the toy box. Oh, and I don't know mm. how we didn't hear anything, <coughs> but just the thought of that whole process and them being so afraid that they wouldn't come and tell us, yeah. yeah. But we were so worried, I had to take him to the doctor to make sure that he hadn't damaged anything, mm -hmm. and I was so afraid they were going to call child protective services on exactly. me, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Because he had that burn, a rope burn around oh his neck. Oh my head. gosh. But that was so scary. Mm -hmm. And the scary part is if it had damaged his windpipe and I put him to bed, not knowing what was wrong, if it yeah. really had been critically damaged, 
Mm -hmm. Something terrible could have happened. He could have died. Could have until the next morning. Yeah. Oh. oh, my goodness. Boy, with our little beloveds, we just don't know, do we? And that was before the days of when they talked about putting those cords and those cords being a danger to kids. Yeah. Right. That was before yeah. that, because that would have been in the early 90s. Yeah. Yeah. He was pretty sure he could fly when it <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I remember thinking I could walk through walls when I was about 12. <laughs> <laughs> Never made it, though. <laughs> uh, my parents told me so many times to stay away from the electric sockets. But yeah. I could not stay away from the electric socket. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I never got electrocuted, but uh, I sure wanted to stick my, my screwdriver in it. So, <laughs> get that about you. Yeah. Engineers are just so inquisitive. Right. Yeah. I'm going to take it apart. Just We're going to take it apart. No matter if we got to put it back together again. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad we share like family. That just makes me feel all that much closer to all of you. Yeah. It does. Oh, goodness. 1130 and, and the clock's a ticking. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. And Harp is tomorrow. We'll see you then. Take pictures at the zoo. I will. Oh, yes, please. Oh, speaking of pictures, uh, Nancy's daughter showed us some pictures of the house they're building. It's across the street and down one. So Nancy can walk over to her daughter's house when it gets finished. Oh, wow. And the walls are, the <coughs> studs are up. Okay, well, I had heard something about that, but I haven't seen any pictures yet, so. So she'll, I asked her to show us as they go along. She said she would. Okay, great. Awesome. I'll see y'all later. Have a good day. Bye, great. everybody. Bye. Have a good day. See bye -bye. you tomorrow. Right, yes, bye -bye, see you tomorrow.